back in the real world, Noodle finished telling her story. That's it? The humans just accepted the monsters into their community? Yes. Is there a problem? Yeah. Aren't scary stories supposed to have a bad ending? I was just doing something different. Too different if you ask me. Okay. Anyone else got another story? I got one. Is it about zombies? No. Yes. Come on, Muds. Give Dee a chance. Oh, all right. Go ahead, Tootie. Tell us your boring zombie story. I shall. It all begins on a fall afternoon. In the story, the band was chilling at Com when Murdoch came into the room all excited. Guys, I got good news. We've been invited to perform at the Thompson Fun Fair ground for their fall event this Halloween. Thompson Fun Fair? Yes, isn't this exciting? Uh, no. Tootie, what's wrong? Well, uh, I don't want to go. Why not? I can't say. I need to go check on Blue. Wonder what's gotten into him. Whatever it is, he's going whether he likes it or not. And besides, they gave me some free passes for rides for the kids. The next day, the band drove to the fairground while 2D continued to act salty on the drive. Any reason why you think 2D's upset about all this? Beats me. He hasn't even said a word since we started driving. Well, whatever it is, maybe we'll find out. Later, they finally arrived at the fairground where an elderly cow folk gentleman was there to greet them. Why, howdy do, ladies and gents. You must be the gorillas. I'm Sam Thompson, the founder and owner. Yes, I remember. You're the one who sent us the invitation. Yeah, although I bet you didn't know the son of your sworn enemy was their singer. Wait a second. I recognize that shade of blue hair anywhere. It's the Potts boy, Stuart Pot. I could see you've gotten taller. Gee, thanks. Wait, what? You guys know each other? Yeah, the Thompsons and the Potts have had a bit of a history with each other. Yeah, I remember your father and I were always in dispute about everything. Too bad he died in that roller coaster accident, but I'm sure your mumsy's doing better on her own. Well, for your information, she just learned that she's a grandmother and met her granddaughter a few months back. Say what? Oh yeah, Izzy, the kids? I got them. The kids came out of the car and ran to their parents. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. You got yourself a kitty cat for a daughter. Sam got close and kneeled down to Blue's height, who was hiding behind her father's legs. Why, she's adorable. Blue then hissed and tried to scratch Sam. And a fussy one, too. Tootie then picked her up. Sorry, she doesn't do well with strangers. Well, it's okay. Anyway, why don't you all go set up our stage? It's not too far from here. Later, the band was setting up for tonight's show, but Izzy couldn't help but wonder about Tootie's family history with the Thompsons. Hey, Tootie, if you don't mind me asking, when you said your family and the Thompsons have a history of rivalry with each other, I've been wondering, what was it that the Thompsons did to your family? You know, I've been wondering the same thing. Well, it's been a while since I last heard it, but it happened years ago before I was even born, and when your grandpa made his dream come true, Blue. Oh, let me guess, his dream was to make a fun fair. Exactly, so you see, him and Sam were all buddy-buddy until they had a big fight about their ideas, so they ended up making their own fairs on two separate lands. My dad made his on the outskirts of Britain, while Sam decided to make his close to a graveyard, where legend has it that every 25 years the dead come back to life on the full moon. I warned you, Sam Thompson! Out on the grass, an old woman was talking to Sam. I wonder what's going on. For the last time, Luna, the legend ain't real. Heck, when I brought this land years ago, the original owners told me it wasn't true. Well then beware, crazy old hag. Mr. Thompson, what was that all about? Oh, nothing. That was just old Luna May, whose family once owned this area before I sold it years ago, saying that once the full moon rises tonight, the dead from the graveyard will come to life. But how could that be when that's never even happened? Yeah, she sounds crazy if you ask me. Well, the sun's going down. Why don't you all have some fun before the show starts? Sure thing. Thank you so much. Later, everyone went to separate parts of the fair, but Tootie, not impressed by any of it, instead went to the graveyard with Blue. As night began to fall and the full moon was out, Tootie sat down on a bench with Blue. Ah, much better. We don't need all that Thompson fun. We're pots. We only have fun as them. And besides, your grandpa would have been disappointed if he found I bought you here. However, the moonlight started to shine on the graves. Then the zombies started to come to life. Your grandfather was a great man. I miss him every day. But hey, someday, if me, your uncles, and aunt retire from music, then I might start a fun fair of my own. Suddenly, the sound of moaning was heard. Whoa, zombies. Wait, the legend is real? Meanwhile, back at the fair, Murdoch was freaking out over a balloon animal that Izzy had brought for Leo Star. No, 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 no! 
Murdoch, it's just a balloon animal. It's not just a balloon animal, is he? It's a balloon of death. Woof! Ah! Murdoch! Murdoch ran until he bumped into Tootie, who was running as well. Hey, Stu, watch where you're going. Murdoch, the legend is true. The zombies are coming. Tootie, have you been watching too many zombie movies again? No, I'm serious. I saw it with my own eyes. Hey, what's going on? Zombies are coming. Is Tootie okay? Yes, I'm fine. You know what? Forget this. It's almost time for our concert. Later, the gorillas took to the stage and started playing Rocket. Howard, the zombie started coming. Mommy, look at the man in the zombie costume. The kid went over to the zombie. Cool costume. The kid reached out his arm where the zombie bit it. Ah! The gorillas stopped playing and saw the kid who was bit with the zombie. And more zombies came and started to attack. Oh no! See? I told ya! See? What do we do? We run! The band got off the stage and met up with Izzy and the creatures. Hey, y'all in here! Sam led them to underneath the stage. See? I told you guys! Yeah, at least you're not crazy. How could this happen? I warned you before, Sam, but did you listen? No! Uh, Miss May, how exactly did this legend get started? Well, years and years ago, before my family owned this fairground, a witch cast a spell on it. Some say it failed, but seems to have finally worked after 25 years, so now we're all doomed. Really? What is it with witches and casting spells on these places? Mm, eh, it happens. So what do we do? Oh, I know, as a zombie movie expert, there are a few things you need to know. One, always have as much food as possible with you. Two, stay in a group. And three, always have a first aid kit with you. And if any of us gets bitten, then we're going to have to let you go. Great advice, 2D, but what about weapons? Oh yeah, that too. Well then, why don't we go kick some zombie butt? Later, everyone came out with a weapon and getting ready to fight. Okay, I know I acted freaked out a minute ago, but now I'm a little excited about this. Well, enjoy it while it lasts until you get bitten. Suddenly, the zombies started coming. Everyone start shooting! Everyone started to shoot at the zombies. However, Sam got too close, then a zombie attacked him. Ah! They got me! Mr. Thompson! Sam was now a zombie. Well, I may have never liked you, but I just want to say thanks for helping my dad get the inspiration he needed to make his fun fair. Suddenly a gunshot was heard. Then the zombie Sam was shot dead by Blue, who was holding a gun. Blue? You, you killed your grandfather's enemy. I don't know whether to be proud of you or not, but hey, good girl. But who gave you a gun? It was me. Murdoch! What? Gotta protect the kids too, you know. Later the battle continued, but there were too many zombies. Ugh, what do we do? There's still too many. There's only one other way to stop this. How? You're musicians, right? Yes. Then use the power of music and everything will be back to the way it was before. Really? That's all we gotta do? Play music? Yes. Now go before the sun rises. The band then got back on stage with the zombies as audience. Okay, here goes nothing. They then started to play Rock the House as loud volume, which made the zombies' heads explode. It's working! Turn it up louder! Russell turned up the music and more of the zombies' heads exploded until there were no more. We did it! The next morning, the girls were looking around the place where zombie parts were everywhere. Well, Dad, although Sam was your enemy, I bet you and him are fighting in heaven about whose funfair was better. And hey, maybe he's even bragging about how your granddaughter shot and killed him when he was a zombie. I love you. Tootie, come on, we gotta go! And so, after that event, Thompson Funfair shut down and was abandoned where they say the legend was true, or as some believed it to be.